Hey guys, I want to do a review today on the Bronte BT31 Lite. This is a new mega thrower, and this one actually here is an engineering copy. This thing isn't even for sale yet, so I will put updates as to uh, links, where to purchase prices and all that when it is available. I've had this for, I think, a couple of weeks now, and I've been testing it, and I wanted to share what this is and why you might want to look at it. So this is a very simple three-mode flashlight that takes, well, technically four modes because it does have strobe, that takes four 18650 batteries. It uses a single XHP35 LED, has a very deep, smooth reflector, glass lens, all that stuff. It's a two-switch interface with one in the tail and one on the handle, and the handle does appear to be removable, even though I haven't done that yet. Now, for my testing, I'm getting modes of about 200, 1500, and 2000, which seems to be on par with what uh, Bronte sent me. I actually got a little higher than them. I got around 2200 and they said 2000, so probably close enough for for all uh, of our purposes here. So runtime, I got a very good runtime out of this. Very close to two hours, very good regulation. It held pretty close to full power almost the entire length of the run. And if you want to see the details, check out my budget light forum review where I'll have the actual runtime graphs and uh, hard information for that, but it did very uh, admirably. So the setup on this is going to be four batteries in series, because it is a 12 volt LED, so they're going to be running kind of separately in series mode to run that uh, high voltage LED. And uh, we've gone through them before, the XHP35 is a uh, high voltage LED, 12 volts as opposed to the normal four of like an XML2. You know, benefit being multi-die, it's like having a uh, four XMLs in one tiny little footprint, which lets you make lights like this that is the, uh, that can be a super thrower. And I, if I didn't mention it is an XHP35, which means uh, high intensity, which means the dome is removed, which does help with throw. Now this thing is set to throw in the neighborhood of over 1,000 meters. I tested it to about 500, and you're gonna see in my footage that uh, at 500, this thing is still massively bright. Now my eye can of course see better than the camera lens can pick up. At 500, this thing is still super, super bright. I have no doubt that it can hit 1,000 meters. Even on the camera, it still picks up 500 meters, no problem. And you'll see, I'll edit that footage in and you'll get to see um, some footage I took Halloween night with this camera, so pretty awesome. Interface is simple. In the rear, you have this switch and you also have, well, I should show you a switch on the handle. So you can use either one. They both turn the light on and off. They don't have, it isn't your normal interface where it's on and then switch modes. They both work the same. It's going to be a long press to turn the light on. And actually, I don't have batteries in this right now, but wasn't a plan in the head. Long press to turn on. And then single switch to switch between the modes. Double click to get you into strobe. And then long press again to get you out. So overall, very cool. You see it has a very deep, deep reflector with the XHP35 high at the bottom of it there, that tiny little guy at the bottom. Nice clear glass. It looks like, as you can see from the reflection of my fill light, it's not an anti-reflective coating on it, which is something that could be improved. Anodizing is okay. Now, my, this is an engineering copy, so it is used, so it did come with a couple little bumps and bruises on it, which is to be expected. This is probably tossed around the uh, factory for quite a bit before it made its way to me. You see it has a lot of good cooling fins. There's a lot of mass there in the head. I ran this thing straight for pretty much two hours, and it never got uh, too hot to handle, especially seeing it puts out 2,000 lumens. This is a light that can actually run and handle full runtime for the entirety of its uh, battery life, which is awesome. Plus, you have that handle, which kind of keeps your hand away from anything that might be warm or anything like that. A little bit uncomfortable over time. I did carry this, as I said, Halloween night for quite a few hours until little feet got tired. And the handle could be a little uncomfortable. It's a little uh, front heavy. The balance is a little forward, so you really kind of have to actually hold it as opposed to just letting it dangle. You can see how it the balance on that is. <laughs> oh boy, we're trashing the set. So as I was trying to demonstrate before I knocked over my fill light, is the balance is way forward on that. So you can't just kind of like let it dangle. You actually have to hold it. That is one thing I'd improve. I would actually uh, change that handle around so that center of balance is a little more forward so that you can just dangle it. Um, I would definitely recommend some grip tape for a couple hours. That does get a little, uh, and you can see it actually has 
finger grooves so it does handle fairly well it fits my hand and uh, was pretty comfortable except for the fact of that forward uh, balance on that so you actually do have to keep a grip on it um, you can also carry it like this it is small enough where you can carry it good knurling and all that and we're going to open up the uh, case real quick before we get out of here show you the threads one disappointment the threads are not anodized they seem to be nice and clear but they're not anodized if they were anodized it will let you lock out the light tail cap is protected here which is kind of weird so you don't, can't access that spring from the back and uh, you have the all metal carrier so overall great little light for what it is so there it is and please see my review you want to talk about a light that's a great thrower check this out oops my bad how about that that is literally that building is a couple hundred yards away that soccer post there easily 300 yards this thing is just a thrower of all throwers my god this I mean, look at this which hopefully you can see this at home but there is just that soccer net probably about 300 yards that's a full soccer field in between see there's one goal post there and there's the other and those are what 100 yards and that's probably 100 yards away that building there is quite a ways. That tree line in that hill, man, what a beauty.